London in December, but we're not yet out of the channel when the first storms hit. Now the voyage was long, too long for so many crowded aboard three small ships. We headed south through the Canaries, then west to the Caribbean, and at last to the Virginias. Few of us would see fair England again. The story of modern America began when three ships, filled with English explorers, landed on the banks of the James River in Virginia. They embarked on a journey to find wealth, but they ended up on a journey that changed the world. Three great cultures, Indian, African, and English, converged, setting in motion social patterns that continue to shape our lives today. The same values that inspired the Jamestown colonists to explore the unknown also led to the advancement of representative government. In July of 1619, in the church at historic Jamestown, the American tradition of representative government was born. 22 elected representatives, called Burgesses, took their seats that hot summer day to discuss and vote on laws and regulations that would govern the new settlement. The House of Burgesses evolved into the Virginia General Assembly, the oldest representative institution in the Americas. Since 1807, Virginians have held major commemorations of the founding of Jamestown every 50 years. In 1907, the Jamestown Tercentennial Exposition attracted a million visitors and international attention. If anyone doubts the true significance of Jamestown, we need only remember the words of President Theodore Roosevelt, host of the 1907 Exposition, when he confirmed the birthplace of our nation as the settlement at Jamestown, Virginia, with which the history of what has now become the United States really begins. The Queen of England begins her visit to the United States at the site of Britain's first colony in America and sees her country's most famous document, the Magna Carta. Queen Elizabeth and the Great Charter both celebrate the 350th anniversary of the founding of Jamestown, Virginia. Elizabeth makes history in the mid-20th century by this first visit to the U.S. as Queen. 